All right, let's get into WWF Raw from August 20th, 2001. Just a random episode. Really nothing too crazy happened on this episode, huh? Yeah, nothing at all happened on this show, actually. This is not known for anything. Nothing at all. Uh Uh-uh. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. (laughs) (laughs) Good show. Thanks for listening, guys. This show, August 20th, 2001, is the Monday Night (laughs) Red. Come on. I mean, come Come on. on. (laughs) There are South Park signs in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of, I mean, South Park and wrestling is tied in forever for me. So, Uh, I mean, especially like when you, uh, early internet days, every wrestler had a South Park character. I love those little things, dude. Yeah, those are awesome, man. You haven't made it till you have a South Park character. I I think you should bring those back for real, for real. I think so, too. Can I, oh, can you guys need, can if anyone is feeling bored, Make them about of us. That yeah, awesome. right. yeah, that'd be fucking pretty sweet. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, take on. liberties. Do whatever you want. <laughs> so there's yes. a WWE Raw. Yes, well, sorry. E. Yes, <laughs> August twentieth, two thousand and one. This F- is the F Raw. It's F Raw. WWF F Raw. You're right, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you said it best. <laughs> this is a Raw is War. Still, they aren't War Raw zone. This is still Raw Stone is war. Cold Appreciation Night, which. Mostly everyone will probably know as Milkomania. <laughs> I can't and wait till we get to this. It's even more ridiculous than I remember it being just it's because of so JR. so <laughs> crazy. JR yeah. was going wild. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot to talk about JR on yes. this show. Oof, there's a lot of it. But uh, this was uh, the night after Kurt Angle loses to Steve Austin, so we should appreciate all of that. Yeah, it's the follow-up SummerSlam 2001. Yes, leading yeah. the alliance is Austin doing. This is so weird. Stone Cold arrives to the arena with the WWF Championship. And Debra. Debra and a WCW <laughs> shirt. WCW, just logo shirt. WCW logo on oh, the shirt. Crazy. Very weird looking to me. It's crazy. It's always weird when I see it, but I love it. I yeah. actually love this look a lot, but it's, I it's do too. crazy. Uh, yeah. So he walked into his locker room where the Alliance is all waiting for him, clapping and cheering. Woo! Steve, we love that Steve, Stone Cold. Steve, Steve. And they're all wearing Steve Austin merchandise. They got the Except, sweet do, the do on to other shirt. I love that yes, shirt. Yes, and the, the that. Was, is the other one just a skull? Yeah, it's the red awesome. skull in the It's back. like the, the, the orange or red or yellow and orange. Orange? Or like that. Orange. <laughs> Steve Austin now the only, the only two people that aren't wearing those shirts are the Hurricane Who's wearing a Green Lantern shirt, and Taz, and Taz, who is wearing a an orange Taz shirt. Taz also standing on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> they ripped him all night. <laughs> what the fuck? He's behind everybody, and the only way you can see him is they say, "All right, well, Taz, no one can see if you're like, well, what can I stand in the front, brother? All right, stand in the back <laughs> on the couch." <laughs> That's the first thing I saw when they came to the roof too. Is Taz on the couch? <laughs> He's the only one. <laughs> I saw Taz standing on the couch. I saw the hurricane with not only the Green Lantern shirt, but the biggest pair of boot cut jeans I've ever seen. I don't even know if you could have gotten them any bigger around his that damn legs. The, that was the standard back then. Boot cut was in, man. That These were not even Jinkos, bro. These were just <laughs> big ass boot cut jeans. Dude, Jinkos, boot cuts, it's all the same back in 2001. And you <laughs> what kind of his... boots were you wearing? <laughs> dude, I, he was working, tennis shoes brother. with the boot cut jeans, dude. Right, lugs, yeah. boots, and shoes, lugs, boots, and shoes. Dude, let tell me him, tell Tony. you, when I went to my graveyard tell shift him. when I was 37 <laughs> and I had to go Oh, we wore those bootcut jeans and the tennies, and it was crazy. The white case shoes. 37. That was like white 20 years Swiss before shoes. this. <laughs> white, you know the white case Swiss shoes? And the, you got case Swiss, you got Swiss Nike shoes? Monarchs, and, and the bootcut <laughs> jeans. You know all that? You know all about also, that. Also, you could see Hurricane's braces glistening in the lights. <laughs> So Austin is leading by example here, right? He's going to say that... I led by example last night, and I whooped (laughs) Kurt Angle's ass. Was this this the part where he said that more superstars are going to be born or something? Was that later on? Yeah, I think it was... That was later on, I think, in the ring. Oh, okay. But then uh, he says if Kurt Angle shows up, he's going to whoop his ass tonight as well. (laughs) And he's like, all right, thank you, everybody. And he's leaving, and it cuts to Tommy Dreamer, and Tommy points at Steve and says, (laughs) thank you, Dixie. (laughs) (laughs) He also said he invented the stunner, and everyone just agreed with him. It was the whipper stunner, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tommy says thank you, Steve, and I immediately he started said, laughing because <laughs> it like it like zoomed in on thank you, yeah. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, Thank Dixie. You. It's my life in a box. Oh, no, we got to get a quick shot of WWF New York, of course, as well. So what was the deal with that? They just had people hanging out at New York all the time back then? I think they did watch. Just during they, the they, show? It was just like a watch to, party? To, yeah, come to WWF New York and watch the show, which sounds they would awesome, show, honestly. They would have live cameras there. They do angles there sometimes. You could come well, eat and Well, because Foley was there, too. Because there, there was a bar, too, right? Yeah, there was. I think it... Dude, I honestly think it was just come eat and eat food, and then if you spend any it was money... Packed. Yeah. Yeah, I assume that made a lot of money for them at the time because they were selling like it was like a merchandise like haven, honestly. They had yeah, all I the, think that, you could buy anything you wanted there. I saw somebody meant like uh somebody that went there. I don't know where I read this, it might have been on wrestling figs, but they said anytime they went there, like there was like no figures. So I was like, fuck it, I don't ever want to go there. <laughs> oh, yeah, so there was just was t shirts and salads. Yeah. If I was in New York, I'd go there every time they had a wrestling show. That would have been Sure. Crazy. I wish I I mean I now think about I wish I could have went, but Yeah, that would have been did, dope. Yeah. They should have had like spaghetti. Like stone cold spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti. I wanted to let I was I wanted to let that simmer. <laughs> stone cold spaghetti. I get what you're saying, but 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 also not that joke. Yeah, stone yeah, cold I agree. Spaghetti and stuff. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I, I just, think you're right. They should just have spaghetti, not even stone cold spaghetti. Stone just cold spaghetti. I do, yeah. I think that'd be yeah. really nice. That'd be, yeah, they should have Cold angle. Stone ice cream. Yeah. Stone Cold Cold Stone. <laughs> For an angle potatoes. Sean Stacey had Cold Stone ice cream. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> Kurt Angle Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Tans no, hamburger. <laughs> that's not how this goes. You guys are fucking it up. Lita macaroni. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. A good idea. I'm glad that we have all got on the same page here. <laughs> I'm, trying <to> think of, <laughs> I'm trying to think of puns here, but I can't even think of anything right now. So, Lena yeah. Macaroni does Big work for me. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why the shit is that? We're cooking Tony, you don't oil. want the you don't oh. want the Vince McMahon Caesar salad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I they would have ready. Would, they'd still be open if they oh, were not ready over, for that. Overstuff, overstuff beef ravioli and <laughs> yeah. stacker two. Is what yeah, I want. that's well, that's ours. That's yeah, what we're yeah. selling at our shows. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's why they went out of business <laughs> so we could thrive. We're gonna do that in yeah. WF North Carolina. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> we're gonna have Tony the Did Pizza it? Guy hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Today's special stone cold spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> That's also tomorrow's special. <laughs> I want the John Blood Burger. Can I get that? Is that thing? <laughs> Everyone oh. just gets burgers. <laughs> if you're in the mid card, <laughs> Crash Holly Burgers. <laughs> Today's special. Tomorrow's special. Molly Holly Burgers. <laughs> you know, you could do something like DDP pancakes or DD pancakes or something, but no. Yeah, they would say DDP burgers. <laughs> <laughs> the McFoley <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> DDP hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> The Cactus Jack Cheeseburger. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Cactus Jack oh Hot Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Handshake and a hot dog when you get yeah. it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know how WWF coffee. New York, how did it not survive? I don't know. Bad businessmen. Yeah. They probably just let everyone come in. That was the problem. They should have had a door charge. Yeah, maybe they didn't charge at the door. That's probably why. Yeah, you're right. They didn't have DDP Burger. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger. Good. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> intro. Dan, 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 it's dan. my life in a this. box. What a fucking sweet intro. Oh, that is. I love that so much. I love it. Uh, so we start off. We got Lita, Molly, Holly, and Jacqueline. They're facing Dude. off against Ivory, Stacy Keebler, and Toy Wilson. I think Lita may have got the biggest pop on the whole show. Yeah, they just yeah, love she's intro. crazy over here. She like the her theme hits and the crowd shits themselves. This, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is Team WWF against Team Alliance. Uh, where is the ramp? Why is Dan it? Dan what, Dan what? Dan. They don't have a ramp. Why? Obvious. Too small. You know. What? Oh, you're, they just walked out. Not see the, yeah. Did you not see the main event? Do you not know what happens in the end of the show? You're telling me they, they couldn't have drove a milk truck down there? Anytime they had vehicles, they didn't have a ramp. That's just how they did it. No, they could have drove a milk truck down that fucking thing. They probably could have, <laughs> but you trust Kurt Angle to drive it? I don't know. 
Yeah, he was like, inebriated <laughs> off the what, milk. What year? <laughs> <laughs> if it was Steve Austin, that dude could drive it down there. But yeah, maybe. But, uh, I don't know. I've don't seen know, him but... on that Zam- uh, the uh, the fucking ATV. <laughs> Almost fucking whipped his shit sometimes. <laughs> this is set up because on a Sunday Night Heat, Lita was confronted by Stacy. I don't know what they said because they didn't let me hear it. You but... weren't on George Lopez, bitch. <laughs> That's what Stacy said. <laughs> <laughs> she just walked up to her she and said, said that. Yeah, she said, "Yeah, well, I could have been." She said, "No, you fuck, you couldn't." And then they just started attacking. And then Tori, Tori attacked Lita from behind. Uh, Lita was getting the best of them, and then Ivory attacked her as well. Ivory and the Alliance, because yes, sir. On commentary, they say former WCW champion Booker T has yet to arrive. Very unprofessional, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, well, Stone Cold every show, so fuck it. <laughs> a little, I know they were getting a little more unprofessional later in the show. <laughs> they seem to uh, always do that. This match, I actually liked. Like, uh, for, I was like, oh, they're going to give these girls like two minutes, but they gave them a little bit of time and they were all hitting their spots. Molly did a fucking cool flip out of a snap mirror. That looked kind of crazy. Oh, Molly uh, was she, incredible. She was doing like, she did this Northern light suplex that looked awesome. They were, and Jacqueline comes in and just kills everyone. <laughs> 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 Whooping everyone's ass. Uh, I don't know if Stacy did a move in this match. I don't remember. You can uh, tell yeah, me that. man. Don't worry What'd about that. Do? What you do? <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. You know, I'm just, just asking, bro. Look, man, damn. let the workers work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did a kick, maybe a punch. Maybe, maybe. Well, no way. <laughs> she grabbed the hair, maybe. Maybe hair whip, perhaps. The only yeah, thing that's I real did. in this fucking business is the money in the miles. Yeah, take that's your true. bumps straight to hell. I don't know. She probably <laughs> didn't take any bumps. You're right. You're yeah, exactly. exactly. Smart work. Got it. Yeah. The finish is Jacqueline kills Ivory with a tornado DDT. Just fucking. Dumps her on her head with it, and uh, Team WWF wins. So we go to a backstage segment. Dudley boys are hyping up Test for his big performance last night. At some <laughs> As you plans. would. I'd always hype up Test. He's awesome. Test rules. Test rules. Also, all in Stone Cold shirts still. Stephanie McMahon comes up and asks for Test's help with the Alliance. Stephanie says, we might not have ended on the best note. We were kids back then. I didn't know what I was doing. You didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, we're so much more mature now. It's like a year and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> uh, Stephanie says, you know, I could be a real witch when I don't get out what I want. Mm. And Rhino didn't beat Chris Jericho last night. And guess what? I think you could beat Chris Jericho tonight. True. Tess says, you're not a witch. You're a bitch. The crowd Whoa. pops huge. The crowd goes, oh my God. They pop She's so big bitch. that you they like popped over the next line and I don't think anyone the ever heard it. Line, so yeah, you can't hear the punchline punch after it. <laughs> he says, you're a bitch. But then right after he says, but you're a good bitch. I don't think anyone <laughs> caught it. So no. all they hear is him say, you're a bitch and yeah, I'll help you tonight. <laughs> yeah. He goes, you're a bitch. Humana. Humana, humana, humana. <laughs> and I'll help you take out Jericho tonight. Well, then we get The Rock. The Rock is the new WCW champion. He beat Booker T at SummerSlam last night. Is this the real belt? This is as close to the big gold as possible. Is this... Is so? Is there what like other than it not being the big old? Is there any physical differences to it? Like it's not. It yeah, curved, it's right? all gold. It's all gold. Okay. Uh, it's a curved plate. Um, oh, a lot it of is curved. That, okay. Yeah, a lot of people back then didn't like that the big gold wasn't curved. Just fit okay. around your waist weird. Um, yeah. yeah, there's just differences like that. I th- it might actually be a little smaller too. Okay. You can tell the color. You can tell the color difference from the original big gold, and you can always tell too if the top of the belt isn't bent. It's not the original Big Gold. You can always tell by that. <laughs> it's they was it purposely bent or it got it. bent over time? Yeah, it got bent whenever they... I can't remember what angle they did, but it got bent and they just couldn't fix it. It was probably NWO angle. <laughs> it probably <laughs> was, yeah. I can't believe they actually broken. spray painted over the actual <laughs> fucking belt in the first place. Yeah, we, we talked about that on SGH Live, which you all should watch on our Patreon, but yeah... Uh, it's it is pretty crazy that this like legendary title they just said all right Hogan <laughs> do what you want just go go for it <laughs> Which, <laughs> we I mean can't sweet get angle one. but like, damn yeah yeah um, that's my favorite version of the NWO on it too like the original and yeah. WWE on the replicas never got it right it never looked no it's too clean to it. yeah it's it just looked clean fucking looking. weird the Rock like you said comes up with the WCW title uh any Rock with this title just still looks. It's not as cursed as Triple H with Undisputed Title, Dude, but it still I wrote feels a little weird. Down. Rock with this title is cursed. I wrote that down. Yeah, it's it's a little strange looking, but I don't know. And Rock um, in the white t-shirt too is kind of weird. I don't know. The yeah, whole thing is just yeah, weird to but me. I, for some reason, I do remember him. Like, if I remember him holding that title, it is with a white t-shirt. Yes, that's the only <laughs> time I remember was the white t-shirt and then Team Was that shirt in the games? Then... Like, is it an alt? I remember I feel it being like it somewhere. It was. Yeah. yeah, somewhere. It's in one of the games. There's For a few sure. signs in the crowd here. Uh, one of them is The Rock has come back to Sack Town. Um, and another says Raw is Sack. Now, I didn't understand what was going on. 
Sacramento. Thought, yeah. It is in Sacramento. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought some people just didn't like where they were, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, Rock says, Booker, you said you were going to take The Rock to school, but The Rock took you to school. Ooh. Oh, sick burn, sick burn. <laughs> the Rock got here. And he says, uh, while well, I'm at it, since we're going to school, Professor Rock is going to teach you People's Elbow 101, Advanced mm-hmm. Rock Bottom 407, and above all else, getting your monkey ass whipped one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, actually. That was pretty good. Yeah, I did, too. <laughs> the crowd popped for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did love that, yeah. Uh, he says, The Rock knows you're not feeling good right now. You're probably feeling two feet tall, which... Coming up soon. <laughs> Didn't know that. Yeah. The Rock wants coming you to come out here, face the Rock eye to eye, and maybe the Rock can make you feel a little bit better. And they said, let's give Rock, uh, let's give Booker a warm welcome by chanting his name. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying Booker. <laughs> God, bro. They killed everybody on this show. Holy yeah, if Booker, you didn't work Booker here fuck four you. months ago was the one of the most over dudes in the entire in like the entirety of WCW. Had all both belts. Uh, fucking king of the world just yeah. i don't even know what to Dude, say man. and it makes it it makes later on even more impressive when you watch this because you can see how over he was how much they kill him and then how much over he gets again he has to work his again. ass off to get over <laughs> yeah. they just keep killing he has to work his yeah. ass off. yeah that's the reason sting didn't come in and originally because the way booker was treated at the beginning he probably should have never come in <laughs> yeah, yeah that's he had true. the right idea sting <laughs> yeah I mean, we got some Mattel figures out of it, but that's it. <laughs> that's <all. laughs> uh, so Booker T's music hits, and here comes mini Booker T. Booker Wee, as, <laughs> Booker JR, is, <laughs> as JR says. My favorite thing is ring. JR is like, this is a real funny segment. And Heyman's like, this, none of this is funny. No, no, this well, is Heyman not says, funny. why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fucking funny segment. This shit sucks. It's terrible. I hate Two it. foot why tall Booker here? T. But mini Booker T was pretty entertaining, so I have to give it to the guy. Uh, he was, <laughs> he he was, was lines. Yeah, he was a beast. Yeah. Rock asked him how he says, he says, how do I feel? How do you think I feel? Sucker. <laughs> he, he does that all the night. It's he heard, the, really he good, heard the first pop and he said, I ain't good. <laughs> Rock says, I don't know what make you feel better. How about you do that move? And Manny Booker does the spin of Rooney. Sucker. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> but, but, JR says, he did, a, oh, he did a better than Booker T. And The Rock says, that's pretty good, Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just, just keeps calling him Booker T, which makes uh, I don't think JR so really funny. got this. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a real spinner. <laughs> he says, Why don't you give me the moonwalk? And does the moonwalk? Why don't you do the running man? Does the running man? Paul Heyman goes, Paul Heyman goes, Paul Heyman goes, He never did a moonwalk. Why did you do the moonwalk? <laughs> moonwalk? <laughs> he says, Why don't you show the rock a little Deion Sanders? Oh, he killed that too. <laughs> he, he did. killed that too. Wow. <laughs> The Rock says, I know you feel better. He says, can you dig that? And Mini Booker says, no. Sucka. <laughs> Sucka. <laughs> and now let me ask that one more time. <laughs> so this is a rib, right? I think, I don't know if they were supposed to hit the music way sooner or if there was a line that Booker here was missing. <laughs> they, they were, they had this, he was, they, this is a rib. He no says, way. let The Rock ask you one more time. Can you dig that? And Booker says, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can sucka. dig it. Sucka. Yeah, I can dig it, sucker. And then yeah. Rock says, let me try that one more time. Let me actually so we just all try understand. that one. <laughs> if you actually think you're the real Booker T. He says, you want to keep dancing? And Booker says, let's do this, sucker. <laughs> and then Landstorm's music hits. The crowd is, is so upset. confused by this point. They're just so fucking confused. I don't know what was supposed to happen there, but yeah, I think he was. I think it was a rib. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> and then Land- Landstorm comes out. Yeah, Lance starts squatting his way the ring. I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> Storm's a menace. This Landstorm's is out great. of his fucking mind. Yeah, this is a menace. Lance gets on the mic and says, "This is a sad display." When mocking your opponent via midget is acceptable <laughs> entertainment. That, that was real what good. A great Landstorm line. is so good. All here. of his lines here are incredibly good. <laughs> he says, no one enjoys a good laugh more than I do, but this ain't funny. <laughs> hey, that yeah. popped me real hard. Yeah, true. That was so good. <laughs> Did you want a real joke, Rock? That's you carrying the WCW title. Ooh, oh, shit. Got him good. They gave him a lot of good lines here. They were real good. Rock says, who the fuck are you? <laughs> 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 and all it took real quick was, uh, who in the blue hell are you? And Scissor has bad storm yeah. is done yeah. for life. He accepts Landstorm's challenge for a match for the WCW title tonight. 
Uh, and he's getting in his face and he says, you know, just bring in all that stuff. And Landstorm says, bet. And he super kicks his little booger out. <laughs> <laughs> JR immediately says, oh, oh, he, he super kicked a little oh, fella. son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, he, super, you guys hear he, he super kicked a little fella. That's what he says. Did you hear Jim Ross on commentary when Storm came out, though? He was saying something about, oh, man, this guy has no personality. But, like, he got cut off halfway through and... Heyman's like, what were you going to say? And he never finished it. <laughs> he, it was probably told, he probably Vince was like, can you fucking lighten up? <laughs> Every, no, everybody like, all night long, JR, if they are from WCW, JR will spend at least 60 seconds shitting a brick you. down the throat. Yeah, it reminds <laughs> me of how, so reminds me of how he hates Chuck Taylor now. Like the same vibes back then about WCW. Honestly, you're right. <laughs> he, hates, he hates Canyon as much as he hates Chuck Taylor. Oh, that's true. He, he I don't know why he hated Canyon. Yeah, he just... really hated Canyon. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He was like, I can't wait to get this. He was like, bury the hell out of this dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's the U.S. champion currently. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, last one goes. That's splendid, Rock. <laughs> 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 splendid, I, dude. Lance was great. This is awesome. Yeah, this was this was a really good segment. I thought, yeah. I, I honestly, I thought this was like the perfect way to bring in, like, do something with Lance Storm. I was gonna be pissed if he didn't super kick. L- yeah, Lee. he had no, to, he, and he just he ran away. That's perfect. Fucker. Well, a little dickhead. I was just saying, uh, I for some reason remember Lance Storm and The Rock interacting quite a bit. I think we did a retro a while back where they had a match too. And uh, see, I thought so too. And I was like, did we watch the show already? Because <laughs> yeah. I swear we saw Lance Storm uh, and yeah. The Rock match. Yeah. The last time that we watched something with Lance Storm and The Rock, The Rock grabbed the camera and because Lance Storm was about to get fired. And Lance Storm or uh, The Rock was like, yeah, man, I can get your job at Target. <laughs> He had, oh, the ca- yeah. he had the camera. He said, "You can work at the zoo." <laughs> That's right. Oh wow, I forgot about that. Yeah, Lance yes. never got that brand of rock. No, exactly. <laughs> Ever. He said, "Man, I'm gonna get fired. I'm gonna get fired." Yeah, I get your job at Target. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks, Rock. That's Appreciate splendid, it. Rock. That's splendid. Uh, so now I'm gonna ask you guys real quick. I just Holy think shit. in your head. Okay. So when you think of the WWF versus yes. the Alliance. If a match yes. was billed as that, what? Can we give you some people? What would come to your mind? So I'd be like, all right, so if we're saying Austin's already on WCW side, bam, non factor. Let's say WWF is like The Rock, probably whatever the Survivor Series teams are like Rock, uh, Taker, Kane, Triple H, Triple, Triple H, H, yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. And then Kurt WCW Angle, would maybe. be like, Booker, DDP, Rhino, Dudley's, right? Like, we're talking about like, like actual WCW or the guys that actually went to WWE. Just like, that, well, if we're going based off of this, of what we already know in the alliance. So if we're going real oh, right, WCW, yeah, right, right, Sting, right, right, right. Goldberg, God, DDP, Mayer, Steiner. would shit a brick down to WWE. Oh my God. Man. There's, There's too many Steiner, dudes. If you had Steiner with a lead pipe, it's over for Team WWF. Well, yeah, if you put Steiner off. and Flair on the same team, WCW loses. They would be too fighting. Jarrett with the guitar, too. Oh, hell yeah. Jarrett, oh, yeah. But yeah, that so I, somewhere somewhere around there, James is where I think I would mm-hmm. I would lie. Okay, well we're gonna get none of that. So what we're gonna get <laughs> <laughs> for Team WWF, we have Big Show, Billy Gunn, APA, Scotty Too Hottie, and Spike Dudley. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> and uh, that now they're it's, not just, it's just not any Billy Gunn. It's the one Billy. The Gunn. one Billy Gunn. Yes. And they're facing off against the Alliance, of course, known as the Dudley Boys. <laughs> Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo, Hugh Morris, and Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> Those are peak WCW and ECW guys. So I don't really <laughs> thank know. You, Tommy. Like, thank well, you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. Hugh Morris. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? You're I'll, telling me that nobody else in WCW wanted to sign a contract other than Hugh Morris? I, no. I watch, they all wanted to sit at home and collect he, their paycheck. When they announced him, Deb was like, who's Hugh Morris? And I said, uh, Bill DeMott. And she said, Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should have told her it's no laughing matter. And I said general seen. erection. She said, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it can't be all that bad because Scotty shirt says, want to see my worm? <laughs> hey, <what a> beast. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty tremendous. Yeah, we're coming down. Dude, this match was quick, but everyone just beat the shit out of each other and hit their moves. I was yeah, happy. That, that's all you would want to do with this match anyway, right? Just the match is real early on. Farouk must hate Chuck Palumbo or something. because he gets the APA. Hates WCW. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you know, honestly, I think that's like for true. Like Bradshaw for sure hates anything that's not WWF. Farouk hits Chuck Palumbo with the nastiest, just standing clothesline I may have ever seen. It was Pol- well, Pol- I knew I fucking oh my god. So like the second this match started, Palumbo immediately hammerlocks him, gets him in a wrist lock, paint brushes Farouk. Oh, and I said, 
That's it. This match is fucked. Why would you do that? Farouk immediately just stiffs the living shit out of Palumbo. I said, here we yeah. go. Bradshaw gets tagged in. I'm like, oh, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bradshaw won't even supposed to come in yet. It's like he's Bradshaw's off. coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, but Dude. to be fair, at this point, like O'Hare and Palumbo were in the business for like two years. They were only in WCW at like Power Plant guys, year yeah. Two thousand, right? So they didn't yeah. know any better at this point. They didn't get no. smartened up. Well, they did now. <laughs> yeah, they, they're gonna have to learn, motherfuckers. Uh, Palumbo immediately gets stiffed. Bradshaw comes in, Tommy Dreamer comes in. Bradshaw just starts reaming Dreamer in the corner and doesn't <laughs> stop until he tags himself out. <laughs> I think we may have had a, somebody had to tag him. I don't think he would. Yeah, stop. he's not stopping. <laughs> just crazy. Um, Dully Boys, of course, on the opposite end of Spike here. Uh, they did a flapjack to Spike in this match Dude. that his head looked like it touched the top of the arena. If they <laughs> they throw him up for this thing, and if they didn't grab his like ankles at the last second, I think Spike was going over the top rope. Now, mind you, they did this move like far from this almost like not in the center <laughs> so like yeah, he yeah. Was it was thrown it was crazy i yeah you're right actually i didn't even think about that they did have to grab his ankle at the last yeah. second because they would have launched him over the road he was gone <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um big show comes in cleans house with a bunch of lines which was weird i for some reason never remember big show lining dudes for for like the clean house spot i always remember hitting him on the top of the head I don't ever remember reason, him lining. What, I don't I don't remember him doing it in this match, but I don't know if he was doing it. But for some reason, I whenever I think of Big Show clotheslines, I feel like he throws the line, but he also like pushes them with his left hand to push them down at the same time. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm talking I think about? So. I think, nice yeah. about it, probably. Yeah, yeah. it's like I, he never does it with just one arm. It's always like assisted. He good. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Good. Oh my God, he, imagine. <laughs> just barrel roll. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Then the finisher breakdown happens, which yes. uh, I love this spot so much. Every time, I'm marked for it every time. Uh, Bradshaw hits a clothesline from hell. Palumbo hits a super kick. Farouk hits a dominator. Dudley's hit the 4D and the 3D. Uh, <laughs> Billy hits the famouser. Hugh Morris fucking does a flapjack. We already did that spot, son. <laughs> did he go for the moonsault? Yeah, he did. He goes for the okay. moonsault, misses, and that's where Scotty comes in and beats his ass and hits him with the worm. <laughs> uh, I like, Tommy, I'd like to think that that was a direct, like, uh, objective say, all right, Scotty, you have to hit the worm on Hugh Morris. Hugh Morris. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what's funny now, funny man? <laughs> so Tommy hits Scotty with a DDT. Big Show comes in and just choke slams Whew. Dreamer straight to fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets the three count. WWF wins. The feud is over. Yeah, they are whooping their ass, man. So That's two. WWF is two and other night, and Lance Storm got pussied out by the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he, he super kicked Booker T though. That work is it? So of course, Stone Cold Appreciation Night. We get Stone Cold tributes. Um, this one is the Hurricane. Do you recall Stone Cold being one word? Stone Cold. Because that's how they wrote it here. Yeah, Stone Cold it's, tribute. It's like Among Us. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Stone Cold. It's Stone Cold also Among Us. wrong. Both wrong. <laughs> the Hurricane says, "I love Among Us." And uh, did you know <laughs> that you could play as Fall Guy in Among Us <laughs> you using you, a mod? Can you do that? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of sus, actually. Why did you know that? You haven't played the game. Because me and my boys are in the lab. <laughs> You're not in any all lab. All the time. Stream We're labs voting right now, to be on. <laughs> Get on Stream Labs. <laughs> all right, so the Hurricane says, I love the Green Lantern. Now, you have to remember, this is 2001. Yes. Green Lantern's not in the mud yet, so it's okay. Things are going yeah. good for the Green Lantern. <laughs> So he says, did you know that the Green Lantern beat Dr. Polaris and a bunch of other stuff? You don't know what I'm talking about? Anyways, Stone Cold is the Green Lantern. I've seen him. I've seen him with the ring. <laughs> he my, he's my hero. Yeah, Stone Cold is his hero, baby. Immediately after, JR says, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell? What the yeah, fuck is a Green Lantern? I've never what fucking heard green of it. He literally you... says that shit. He says, what the hell is a Green Lantern? <laughs> he does. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, he actually knows. Yeah. I was surprised that later on Stone Cold's like, yeah, whatever, go cool, sounds good to me. Yeah, he seemed pretty, he seemed pretty happy <laughs> yeah, with Yeah, it was pretty cool. Made. I told yeah. you, Green Lantern, not in the mud yet, so everything's yes, <laughs> yeah. all right. Um, after that, we get the Kane Big Beefaroni commercial. <laughs> Chef Boyardee. To this what day, an idiot. he still can't eat it. What an asshole. Still can't Pre eat it. He preps this, he sets his kitchen on fire to prep the Chef Boyardee's Big Beefaroni. <laughs> and he still has not figured out that he can't put anything through the little quarter slot in his mask. What How does he fucking ever eat? How does this dude ever ingest food if he can't get it through? No wonder mask? why his parents are dead. Do you think that that's why that he got the new mask? 
So, so he, he could eat. <laughs> Chef Boyardee beefaroni. <laughs> yeah, it just been sitting there for a while. Yeah, he probably he probably got the new mask and he went to WWF New York and ordered Kane beefaroni. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tommy Dreamer beefaroni actually. Oh, <laughs> he shit. actually ordered a DDP hamburger, but they were all out. <laughs> They were all out. <laughs> <laughs> this is why WCW should have died. Uh, we get Sarah's shadow boxing backstage. What's Sarah's last name? Sarah S- Taker. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I was going to say. All right. <laughs> Got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Got it. Taker Caribbean. Uh, very similar to, what was it, Maria Vito? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I want to yeah. see that Maria Vito versus Sarah Taker. I'm down for that. Sure. Sarah, Sarah Taker. Taker. Married to Under. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, so that's awesome. Jericho versus Tess is up next. Yes. I'm glad that Jericho had his WCW theme song here. That was cool. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> This, you know I so got you. Uh, Jericho says, he comes to the ring, cuts a promo about Tess. He goes, how can a man that's name is short for testicles have mm. absolutely none? Mm. The crowd goes, woohoo, balls. All, di- all dick, no balls. <laughs> that's a great gimmick. <laughs> that's that's <test>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tess goes, all he dick, is no balls. Very pissed. <laughs> Pubes. Stop telling me I have no balls. <laughs> Pubes and cock, that's it. <laughs> so Tess comes down. Hits a few moves. Jericho cuts him off. Uh, Jericho goes for the lion salt. Stephanie's out there, of course, because of earlier. Uh, what did pushes she do him to off stop the ropes. him? Oh, is Pushed that okay? Because I I don't know if the angle showed it, but it looked like she just waved her arms really quickly and she fell. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what. I, mean. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think she was trying to cast a spell on me. You sure, <laughs> sure she wasn't just waving? <laughs> he goes for the lion salt, and Stephanie goes, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho falls. <laughs> So Jericho then grabs <laughs> Stephanie. Yes. But Rhino comes down to the ring. In an Austin shirt. <laughs> it's an Austin cutoff. He's got like a mid Rare Austin Rhino shirt. in cutoff Austin shirt. <laughs> they should have made a um, fig of that. That would have been crazy. I would love that. Jericho then throws him into the steps. Uh, Jericho then sees Stephanie and then chases after her. And then <laughs> Tess just clobbers him with a he boot. He murders him. Yes. Oh. Jericho is like, yeah, he, he this boot is awesome. And then they replay it. And they shoot like the they show the worst angle of it that just it doesn't look good. Yeah, Here's a real like, big close up of him slapping his leg for you guys. Yeah, like they don't even show the impact; they just show his thigh. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> no, dude, damn it. Tests deserve better, man. Um, so yeah, I guess yeah. the alliance that counts for the alliance, right? Yes. So the alliance They're won. They're not keeping points here. This someone's got a Tony. Yeah, There's we're no doing point it for them. System here. We have to. Uh, sorry, the real wrestling shows have ranking systems and leaderboards. So. <laughs> Just trying to oh, keep yeah. up with it. Are they farming on heat to get the rankings up? Is they're farming they're heat. <laughs> <laughs> heat and velocity farming. That would be Dude, so sick. Triple H is going to farm on excess later. Dude, Funaki was definitely farming on velocity. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, there was a JVC Gigatube music system. It was I Gigatube. never heard of this. Was it Gigatube? I thought it was tube. I think it's tube. Well, was it, G- Giga I tube, thought Giga tube, tube, like attitude. I think they said. I, I think they said they would say like, "I get Giga tube with the Giga tube." Is what uh, they would say. Oh, yes. oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just looked it up. It is tube. Where's it's, the tube uh, on the on the scale of Kaboom Box? Like, where does it rank on the? I think you know, it was next level, list? wasn't it? This is like uh, they, they took JVC. This is what JVC. They took it to the next level here. So not only did this take up the whole stage <laughs> when they showed it. It's the JVC Gigatube <laughs> music out. system. It yes. had an entrance, and it took up the whole stage. Have you seen what this? Like, I know it looked showed up. I'm but like, looking it up now. Look yeah. at the here. I just sent a picture. This is that's. Is it called a tube? Because it has two gigantic tubes on it the has top. Two of it. weapons <laughs> attached to the side. Two bazookas. <laughs> Dude, you like that thing. It's you play the wrong scene. Imagine you die. Imagine showing up to the beach with that thing around. Fuck. You could you could play music on this, and you can also fuck it. <laughs> right in the tube. You, could, you and your you friend get it at the same sizes. time. <laughs> <laughs> Small, medium, large. <laughs> this is awesome. This uh, the is JVC crazy. Gigatube had three CD slots, uh, so it wasn't a rotating <laughs> play CD. play them all at the same time. <laughs> it was three <laughs> CDs separately on the box. What the fuck? It had four <laughs> tubes to have sex with, 460 <laughs> watts of raw power. Wow. And it had more lights than Times Square. That what? Can't be that, right. That's, that's false be advertising. 
Yeah, what? They didn't even talk about the four fucking holes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. That's the big seller. Yeah, That's what called the hell? tubes. Yeah. Dude, the Gigatude is $1,000 on eBay right now. What the fuck? I think fuck? we got to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Get your sex machine <laughs> from Deadlock. <laughs> Come if you don't tube. send us a video, you fucking it, dude. You have to send us two back. <laughs> you gotta send us two back and we'll fuck it for you. Send us three back and we'll fuck it for you. <laughs> Actually, we're keeping it and we're fucking it. <laughs> or you. <laughs> this show sucks. <laughs> So Edge won the Intercontinental title last night at SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah. Christian helped him. He's... Christian also won the Intercontinental title well, and Christian, King of the Ring. Yeah, SummerSlam, Christian <laughs> ran in to, and speared Edge on accident, but also helped him win the IC title. So that was cool. <laughs> that was the blast of the night from you blasting <laughs> into your giga tube. Come. <laughs> Come to two bottles of condensed milk. <laughs> So Edge Christian are JVC backstage. Hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Among Us Hamburger? <laughs> Edge and Christian are backstage. Edge with the Oval IC title. Boy, I love it. I do too. I, I thoroughly missed that title. Um, Christian I, lists yeah. all of Edge's accomplishments and then says that I'm going to win the European title <laughs> Well, he when he he says all the accomplishments, but he says them as we have that. He says we won yeah, the tag titles, we won yeah, the IC yeah. title, and we won the King of the Ring. And now I'm gonna win the <laughs> European title. <laughs> and it says, "All right, dude." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see ya. Yeah, so awesome. Edge was on real cool whatever vibes there. Cool. Uh, yes, Christian yeah. then takes the King of the Ring trophy with him. <laughs> He's like, did he? Yeah. Oh my god. With it. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna take this too. Yeah, Edge that. said, "Okay, dude." <laughs> <laughs> Cool I and whatever. wish that they still had the big ass hockey trophy for the King of the I Ring. I love that, man. I do too. I thought that was so cool. That was such a I cool gimmick for him. A lot cooler than the scepter in the crown. I mean, I get it, but like the trophy's sweet. The, the trophy's trophy way really cooler. Sick. When I think around, of King of the Ring, yeah. I think of the fucking tr the trophy. Yeah, me too. That's what I think of. Uh, so we get another Stone Cold tribute here. Do it now! <laughs> do, it, do it, do it, do it! Oh, they didn't play so that. Fun. They didn't play do that. He, he didn't Sean use that Stasiak. WWE. He wants to thank Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he just can't get the words out. Was this like, was it, I almost, like, I, I, I get that they turned it into it, but I have a feel, I feel like this was, like, actually fucked. <laughs> like, Probably. They have him do, they say he did, like, over 40 takes of it, in, but I feel like he actually, like, he may have actually just did this and then they used it. It's actually yeah, pretty I, funny. I like it. It is funny. I, I thought it was it. really good. It was like one of those, we're live, pal, and then he yeah, yeah, doing yeah. His live. Yeah. I stopped but I mean, I, but I guess... He was doing the stuff with The Rock at the time, and I think they do it later, too, where he just he's kind of an idiot and he runs in. Yeah, the during the end. But I think that, I don't know, I'd give him credit if they wrote this, but I think he I think fucked they it may all have, up. But I, I could see him fucking it up and then I'm saying, hey, wait a second, let's do something with this. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, Vince, if you don't push Sean Stasiak in the year 2001, I swear to God, I will stop watching in four or five years. Oh, I no. promise you, I will. Yeah. I will not <laughs> come back eventually. until CM Punk cuts a pipe bomb program. I promise yeah. you, I won't come back. Listen, man, Planet Stasiak could have been a big deal. Do it now. He Except Jim Ross fucking hated him. Oh, no, we survived that. <laughs> fuck. Fuck you, you and Sean fuck Stasiak. your dad. Stasiak. Stand man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he really hated Sean Stasiak here. He was real angry. Fuck uh, him. Triple H is guest hosting WWF excess to sex and much more sex on so, Saturday. He's farming excess wins, actually. They said this, and I was startled because I don't think I've ever heard of this show. I was like, you what? Have, Dude, have you noticed that Triple H is on everything that they ever do? Ever. Well, like every time they asked where they saved announced the company, <laughs> of course, in the tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I think like Bite This debut, he was probably on that too. I think Excess was just an extension of Bite This, right? This says it's... Excess was a wrestling talk originally call in show that featured WWF guest superstars and divas. It yeah, ran so from August it... 25th through May 18th, 2002. Uh, it's literally it Bite This. It even yeah, looks it, like that's bite what it looks this. like. It was hosted yeah. by Coach and Trish. Shout out, Trish. However, it was replaced in 2000, late 2001 by Terry Runnels. What the fuck? Whoa. That's why it got canceled. Uh, <laughs> it took Trish out. Program showed classic matches from the WWF's archives, many of which were taken from viewer suggestions. Oh, shit. That's like what we do. Uh, <laughs> starting on the April 2002 episode, the first hour of the show stayed under the excess name and was hosted by Michael Cole and Mark Lloyd. Who the fuck is that? Is he GCW? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. 
and who presented an hour of SmackDown highlights and news. The second hour was renamed Late Night Access, and it was presented by The Coach and Raven. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> that show featured Raw highlights, though it only lasted over a month and was placed by Velocity and WWF Confidential. I would have uh-huh. kept the access to sex, but that's just so weird. I, I, Coach and Raven hosting a that show awesome. together? <laughs> I need to find That's why it's these Bob Backlund matches. All right. <laughs> 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 it's so weird thinking about it in 2001 they're watching retro matches yeah like, what the fuck were you watching it had to be like 80s <laughs> stuff Agen- right? Agen- Schmidt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just damn dude they were just they they watched hogan and andre on repeat <laughs> no god probably it's the first time they're at moa yeah, ever so mick foley is at wwf new york <laughs> well he ordered <laughs> he ordered a taz hamburger <laughs> <laughs> mick foley is wearing a kurt angle shirt and a flannel all right yeah this is real fucking crazy man just a mess yeah uh i don't really know oh, what mick said here did you uh, i don't know either did you but this is completely unrelated because fuck it nothing happened in this uh did you see the new w, you know the wwe like legends titles that they do did you see yeah, they yeah. did one oh, for, I saw the for Mankind? One. What do you think of yes. that? I think that's the laziest <laughs> fucking piece of shit okay. I've ever seen. Now, now listen, I agree. I don't think it looks that good. But did you know that the belt case that it comes in is a gigantic Mr. Socko? It's a big sock. Yes. No, <laughs> that is really Actually, good. I had seen the case. I just saw the title. <laughs> the Socko was I'll, pretty good. I'll yeah. send a picture of it. It's just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> his big Mr. Socko, which I thought is worth the five hundred dollars. Okay, you know what, dude? Yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, you'd have to keep it in the case. I don't want to see the title. I just want to see the case. Yeah, honestly, if they sold the case separately, I would buy it. World's largest Mr. Socko. That's pretty yeah. sweet. So yeah, uh, yeah. yeah cool. I don't know so what, full, full. I don't was know putting over here. the SummerSlam match and putting over Kurt Angle. That's all it was. Oh okay. yeah, he said. Oh, that's right, because he said like. He's never kicked out of the stunner, but Kurt Angle kicked out of it like a bunch of times. So we move on to The Rock versus Lance Storm. Lance Storm doesn't even let The Rock do his full entrance. He just attacks him immediately. Probably got heat back. Smart man. I was going to say, it ruined his damn career. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, yeah, this is where I was. This is when I saw them fighting in the ring. I was like, whoa, I feel like I've seen this a few times. It's because I were thinking back to when they had that match where Lance Storm was going to lose his job. (laughs) Now, did you notice, I said this last time, did you notice Lance Storm's stomps? Uh, Yes, I did notice them this time. Only because you mentioned them. (laughs) Okay, good. I'm glad. Still, he's still doing it. I don't know why he does. It looks weird. Uh, The Rock and Lance Storm. So Lance Storm, of course, gets the upper hand because he attacked him early. Um, But then they go to a double down forever. (laughs) After like three minutes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, was... I'm not like I'm not joking. It's almost a full ten count double down in like a two minute thirty five second match that they're having. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say it's a really short match. They do a double down. Like the only things that happen is Rock hits a really cool Simone drop and then his finisher. I thought, yeah, I thought the Rock was like trolling. He was gonna kip up, but he didn't. He no. <laughs> just sold for the whole ten count. It's weird. Yeah, I love the little WCW white shirt ref stuff. Baby Hebner with the little. Did they, wear, <laughs> they didn't wear white shirts in WCW, did they? Um, they were no, like button never. ups and like uh, little but ties it was, and it, shit. So, but this this it wasn't looked, the yeah it wasn't, wasn't authentic. The like okay, yeah. Stuff. No, that was alliance. Yeah, that was alliance thing. Yeah. Why didn't they, uh, I guess? I mean, they could they should have just used the WCW ref shirts. Yeah, they really just don't like WCW. No. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> that's really inter- that's surprising. Yes. Uh, the Rock then randomly, literally, randomly just hits the Rock bottom and wins. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, just, I know <laughs> like, yeah, it was like take it home. He's yeah, yeah. All right, we'll do. Uh, the WF, of course, now three and one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they are not keeping track. There is no score. Let's it doesn't matter it. who wins or loses. I'd be really interested. In, God, what a project this would be, though, for the entire see, alliance. Like, between yeah. like how long, wherever this, how long this feud actually goes. I don't know when it actually officially ends. Is that like WrestleMania eighteen? Was it eight? When Rock beat Hogan? Uh, huh? Survivor Series, isn't it over? Yeah, they, I is think it might be by Survivor Sur- Series. They did one Survivor, right? Wasn't the deal? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, because if they (laughs) They lose, WWE dies, right? Yeah, yeah, (laughs) Yeah, that was it. That was it. From like Mania seventeen, like at the you know the Raw after Mania seventeen until then, I like to see what the actual tally of people from the Alliance winning and people from WWE. Oh yeah, yeah. That'd be. Yeah, I'm sure it's a disgusting number. (laughs) No, I'm sure it's ridiculous. (laughs) Even if they won, they just got jabroni afterwards. Yeah, right, exactly. Like here. Uh, yeah, like here. He got so both. He got, yeah, he got both. <laughs> shit stick twice. So Lance Storm uh, gets beat, and then Booker Wee comes down, yes. and he hits the people's elbow. But 
the first time he does it, he trips over Lance Storm. Whoa. Ah, whoa. The Rock says, now hold on, just one. Let me try that one <laughs> more tri- time. Well, how about you try that one more time? <laughs> uh, it's a spine buster and on him and then lets Booker Weed do it again. He hits the people's elbow. Huge pop. Hold on, that's the little people's elbow. He does this spinner into like three times and JR says, oh, that looks like me on a Saturday night sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Just <laughs> sometimes. Just sometimes. <laughs> just some- <laughs> Some of those Saturday nights. <laughs> yeah. And then Paul Heyman continues know. to say, this sucks. This isn't funny. I hate this. Why are we yeah, doing please this? Please die, JR. We get a Perry Saturn video package, uh, which is... Tell me a lie. Say a that you won't go. <laughs> Sentence. Uh, Perry Saturn shows Moppy over Terry. This, of course, stringed from Perry Saturn having a CTE gimmick. Yeah, uh, that's great. Real great <laughs> stuff. Real great booking. Penguin. Uh, Moppy <laughs> disappeared during a match with Raven. Uh, yes. And now Moppy is missing on the side of milk cartons. Do you know the payoff to this? Like the end of this? No, angle? I actually don't know it. Raven throws Moppy into a wood chipper, and then the angle's over. Oh, sick! All right. <laughs> they don't, Raven I don't think can't do get it in though. He, Raven the can't get it in. Yeah, it's like really <laughs> fucked up segment. He's where, like, to put he's, it in the wood he throws it in and really it won't work. go. So he he pretty much has to stick his arm in a wood chipper and almost dies. <laughs> and then he's ad libbing the whole time. He's like, no, don't throw me in. <laughs> It's real terrible. It's like Artemis Glide Frog. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, almost, honestly, yes. <laughs> this angle actually is awesome. This is great. <laughs> so Raw is War, brought to you by PlayStation 2. Yes. M&Ms. Mm-hmm. And Lugs Boots and Shoes. I mean, that's for true. I mean, that that makes sense to me. Uh, PlayStation yes. 2 is a huge sponsor. Christian coming out with the the sick glasses. It's just looking. They're fucked. upside down, right? They have to be upside down. I always thought they were, but I don't know if they are. They look upside down to they me. They do. Also, if you want to check out about more about uh, Edge and Christian, you can go to wbfedgechristian.com. <laughs> <laughs> These URLs make are sure, beasts. Make sure to Edge Christian. <laughs> Christian versus Matt Hardy, European Championship on the line. Yes. Christian comes out to make sure he can get some heat here. Uh, apparently, Local people like theme. Christian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he's like, we got to make that not happen. So you're paying you. hundreds of millions of dollars to Chris Webber. Mm. There's an awkward silence. Nobody says anything. And then you just hear Paul Heyman go, who? <laughs> <laughs> Chris just said, I'm going to win the European championship for you guys tonight. Free of charge. Nice. Christian is really good. <laughs> he's great. Yeah. Yeah. He is really good. Of course, Lita comes down with Matt. She's hobbling. She's still hurt from the whole Sunday night heat gimmick. Uh, Matt goes to talk to Lita. Christian attacks him from behind. Christian almost wins the title here. Tries to put his foot on the rope, but the ref, of course, sees Cheater. it and stops it. Uh, Matt then hits the twist of fate for the win. Christian kicks out at 3.1. <laughs> <laughs> and then he flips out. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. How he, he, he hadn't started that gimmick yet, right? This is like before then. It was it was coming up, I think. Yeah, oh, definitely. Just, you could tell. Yeah. just about to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. But no, he hasn't done it yet. Yeah. This, again, sh- short match. Just nothing. Yeah, just straight to it. Uh, we get a SummerSlam video package. This is, of course, <laughs> covering the Kurt Angle and Steve Austin match, which was the main uh, event of the night. Yes. Uh, they showed the like the graphic that showed Austin and Kurt on either side. Uh, on Austin's size, it says he's representing WCW and ECW. And on Kurt Angle's side, it says that he's representing WWF and Chef Boyardee. <laughs> 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 <And milk. laughs> nice. Yeah, so um, they, show, they keep Sorry, showing Dad. this Austin render with the championship. That's yeah. Photoshop, right? It's definitely not. I thought so, shoulder. but I don't know because they I, use it so much. Yeah, they do. It's it just looks so like separated from his body. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah, weird. he's just hold, he held it really weird for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. So this match is actually crazy. Um, Angle gets the dog shit beat out of him for the entire Bleeding. match. Steve Austin is trying to beat this dude. He literally hits him with everything. Cheats. Angle still is kicking out here. Yeah. Um, Austin then attacks three different referees here. <laughs> uh, and then finally, Nick Patrick, the WCW ref, comes down to the ring, counts yes. to two, and then DQs Steve Austin for attacking three refs. <laughs> <laughs> Saving think, the match for WCW yeah. representative Steve Austin. Bastard. Uh, wow, what what a what a crazy match, man. Sheesh. Yeah. I mean, that just those two are just top of their game at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Booker T then arrives. Everyone laughs at him. Backstage personnel are standing there. And he walks by them. There's two dudes, and he, they're laughing. He's like, you laughing at? Pussy. And they're like, nothing. And then he walks further, and there's like, I don't even know how to describe this area, but there's just a table in the middle this of is a, the table like, area, like <laughs> near an exit, <laughs> like just right next to an exit door. laughing area. There's, a, <laughs> there's just a bunch of people. There's like 10 people sitting at this table laughing, and Booker T, like they're laughing before Booker gets there, so I don't know why they, he thought they were laughing at him. 
But then he's like stands there and stares at them. They all stop laughing. He walks away, and then they start laughing again. So that confirms. Uh, we get a backstage segment. Michael Cole interviewing DDP. <laughs> Where the fuck were they? Upcoming match with Sarah <laughs> Taker. <laughs> Sarah Taker. Yeah. DDP's like against the fence, but like behind that is like a. It looks like they were in a UPS. Like I don't this know. Is, where this, is where, this is where all the sex perverts hang out. Oh uh, well, it's DDP, big sex pervert. Why? I don't know. Fuck, dude. This was even worse having to sit here and watch this. So DDP yeah. sits there and talks about having sex with Sarah. What the fuck is going yeah. on? So this Sarah... guy, four months ago, was the people's champ, the fucking <laughs> the ultimate baby face the in WCW. The coolest guy ever. He was what cool the as fuck, fuck, dude. Yeah, and now he's awesome. talking about having fulfilling his fantasy of having sex with Sarah Taker. Bro, what he is says, going uh, on? He says, Sarah doesn't want to hurt me. She wants to be with me. All right, cool, dude. You're going to make so me weird. believe that DDP would take a step down from Kimberly to go for Sarah <laughs> Taker? <laughs> How the fuck have you seen Dude, Kimberly? Kim, Kimberly Page oh, is so I, fine. There's no fucking way in my life. Even if, even if DDP is a little fucking creepy weirdo who really likes to film women, why would he take a step down from Kimberly that he's married to? They fuck. It doesn't make any Tony sense. So passionate. Have you seen Forty Year Old Virgin? Dude, the yeah, bro, DDP is titties. the fucking man. He Dude, was DDP the coolest rules. fucking guy. He was like one of the he only WWE guys. That's that was, awesome. That's he, got him, <laughs> he got himself over and he was fucking the coolest guy in the world, man. The diamond cutter, yeah. the fucking. Oh, Hell they yeah. Fucked him so hard here. Dude, this was so rough to watch. I was just like. Because it yeah. went on for what felt like ever. DDP is like, I'm putting hands in a bar, caress your fucking titties. Does he do any. Like, this taker angle ends and I don't think he gets another, like feud with a top no, guy. No, this is the right? end here, I think. Yeah. Right after, when they, when they do the match, I think that's it. Is that this the blow-off? No, it's not. Is it? Yeah, I swear that's it, because they already had a match. What he already had a match with Taker. After, what is this leading up to? What was after SummerSlam? Unforgiven okay. 2001. Let's see. Let's see what he's doing. Because he there. already had the match with Taker. They have to go into the, I think they do the gimmick with Brothers of Destruction where they get back together. Yeah. Oh, well, Unforgiven is the chronic Brothers of Destruction match. Yeah, so. they get yeah they get them back together for that. So. Oh, my God. DDP's not even on Unforgiven. DDP's not on Unforgiven. Oh, my no, God. No, they hated DDP. This, this is where sucks. They, wow. they literally, like, well, I think took the... I think Taker also did not like DDP because DDP tried to hug him one time. Oh, my God. That's what? for shoot. Yeah, that, like, he, like, they were trying to, like, they were talking backstage and, like, uh, just being a good dude, just hugged him, and Taker didn't like it and ruined his career. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, oh it's gosh. fucked. <laughs> Undertaker, never drew a dime. Hundred cowboy hats, never drew a dime. <laughs> so we get another Stone Cold tribute. Uh, Taz. Taz, he thanks Steve for beating the <laughs> for shit out his of him. ass. <laughs> Whooping his ass. I mean, he lashed the piss out of him with a yeah. belt for like 20 minutes. Thank you, he's Steve. Like, he's like, thank you for making me realize I need to be the old Tez. So we get a backstage segment. Booker asks William Regal for a rematch for the WCW title. Yes. Uh, Regal tells him his request comes up short because yeah. Rock already had a match with Lance Storm. Oh, and Tajiri's also back there. Booker is confused on why everyone's laughing at him. He's what the hell's going on? I just got here. Yeah. And Booker says he wants to beat somebody's ass now because he's pissed. And he says, Tajiri, <laughs> that'll do. Tajiri then <laughs> rips off all his clothes. <laughs> Booker... <laughs> Booker un You're leaving out a couple of things. The jury rips off all his clothes and Booker T under his breath goes, What the hell? <laughs> well, Rigo explained what happened and Booker so you think it's funny you just dissed the Booker man I'm so mad right now I'm gonna take it out on you and he puts it to Jerry and to Jerry I mean yeah he took his clothes off <laughs> to Jerry rips his, his clothes, clothes off, off and Booker goes what the hell <laughs> I don't think they told him to Jerry's gonna rip his clothes off Booker you fucking corpses he goes what the hell <laughs> it was ridiculous that honestly so huge that was fantastic <laughs> he was startled man. for a solid minute what the minute. hell anyways alright your ass belongs to me <laughs> He said, I'm not even gonna, I think he figured they were both going to just fight because Booker says, I'm not even going to put my gear on for this. And Tajiri is standing in his gear now. What the hell? <laughs> the hell? Also, also, earlier in this segment, Regal and Tajiri were there and Tajiri is looking at the Raw magazine and Regal goes, you're going to go blind. Because oh, Regal's on the cover that. of it. Yeah, but he was looking at like the, the Divas uh, Divas. Oh. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. He was horny. And he goes, you're going to go blind. That was a pretty good line. Then Regal <laughs> says, he'll be along shortly. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what the hell <laughs> so booker t versus tajiri yes. uh booker comes out cuts oh. a promo he says i have been 
constantly disrespected since coming to the WAF. True. And yeah. that's for true. That's yeah, you don't even have the true. fucking half of it. That yeah. is for true. <laughs> Just wait. Um, Booker, of course, still in his dress clothes because he's not switching. Booker proceeds to beat the dog shit out of Tajiri. Oh my Dude. gosh. Whoops his ass the whole time. He got DQ'd for being too mean. Yeah, just straight up gets DQ'd. The ref says, all right, screw it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Booker then hits the scissor kick on Tajiri, uh, and there you go. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Again, Booker couldn't have did this to a WWF guy. I guess Tajiri was a WWF guy, but like, Technically, he not, was sort of in the middle. Yeah. Right, the yeah. Two, yeah. 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 Um, so we cut backstage. Undertaker asks Sarah if she still wants to do this thing. He walks up to her. And she says, he, he says, are you warm? <laughs> what? What the, fu- the fuck? Are you, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for DDP, I'm real warm. <laughs> Moist as well. <laughs> what if she would have said no? What would he done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cancel the match. <laughs> yeah. Give her a last no. ride. <laughs> Undertaker won't even really get a layer face him anyway, you little bastard. Yeah. He says, uh, you want to do this? She says, you dare, right? <laughs> We gonna do it, huh? You we gonna do it? Right. You, gonna, you gonna do it? <laughs> you warm, son? <laughs> what? You hot? Why, hey, bitch? You warm? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? Uh, so we get the Fram Slam of the week. The what? Uh, Fram Slam of the week. <laughs> Fram Slam. This Fram is a real slam. thing. <laughs> Fram if you don't have a Fram, you can't slam. What do they say? What is What's Fram? Fram? Pay a little now, pay a lot later. Fram <laughs> Slam. <laughs> what is Fram? It's a uh, oil filter. <laughs> The frame is an oil filter, but the, the frame oh. slam. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it shows RVD winning the hardcore title versus Jeff Hardy at SummerSlam in a ladder match. I'm sure that was good. Yeah, I'm sure it was too. Clear as sale presents Unforgiven. Okay. So we get DDP <laughs> <laughs> okay. versus Sarah Taker. So Taker, <laughs> ta- <laughs> Taker drive, Undertaker drives Sarah Taker out on the motorcycle. I was hoping Sarah Taker was driving the motorcycle. I thought, I thought this was very cute, honestly. I thought it was very, very adorable. Him and, him and his wife. Very That's cute, cool. yes. yeah. Yeah, so the look on DDP's face when they get in the ring is just like, God fucking damn it. I, can't, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. He's got to do business. He's yeah. always there for it. He does. Fucking DDP grabs yeah. his microphone phone and he's like man i'm such a good sport they're just like burying him at any yeah. chance they can get here he's like i'm a real good sport i'm gonna give you the first shot here so you want to get yeah he says you want to get physical with me i'm gonna give you the first shot she slaps him and he's, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and tdp says are you warm <laughs> then he gives her his jacket and then he just walked to the back <laughs> please undertaker <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> it turns out DDP is actually like a super nice guy who's there to <laughs> trick an undertaker. He was just stuck here the whole time because yeah. she was cold. I heard he was, was, cold. He was actually just getting jacket. evidence of Taker being a horrible yeah, husband. Just being <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> now that would have been sweet. Yeah, that would have been sweet. That would have been great. They would have um, booed him for it, but the fans would have booed him and still cheered Taker, though. <laughs> I know. Just because, I mean, just the way they set everything up. But DDP says, thank you, Sarah, may I have another? And she slaps him again. <laughs> yeah. You can. Are you warm yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Art thou warm? <laughs> uh, every- <laughs> Art thou warm? <laughs> <laughs> every time DDP attacks Sarah... Undertaker gets involved. I don't know if Undertaker's ever heard of a fucking sanctioned match before, but yeah, yeah they're really. gonna fight you, dude. Dumb this ref idiot. fucking sucks. He's just looking at Sarah the whole time while Taker's beating his ass. Dude, it's it's Earl and Taker trips DDP, drags him outside of the ring, and beats him up for three <laughs> minutes straight. Sarah is <sighs> not distracting Earl at all. If anything, Earl is distracting Sarah. <laughs> he stands in front of her repeatedly and then keeps looking back to see if Undertaker is still open his eyes. He's like, oh yeah, he is. And yeah, he goes back to Sarah. <laughs> Dude, and then Taker does the fucking craziest choke slam of all time on the he outside. He chokes him straight to the floor. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. So fucking nuts. What the oh. fuck? And then he throws DDP back in the ring. The bell rings, huh? And then Sarah <laughs> does the... <laughs> 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 You're and, right. huh? and then Sarah does the Undertaker cover for the win and wins, and that's the end. Oh, this she, she should have done DP. the Edge cover. <laughs> <laughs> she should have done the Alexa Bliss Randy Orton cover. <laughs> and then left Taker. <laughs> yeah, and Taker stands behind them and watches. <laughs> that this is four to so one. Bad. By the way, this hurts four? so bad. Oh, DDP man. was the dude. Sarah counts as Team WWF, so four to one. I could never get over this. How they Most of them, I can DDP. find something funny about it, dude. But man, this is depressing. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. DDP was so good, man. And then he went on to do some stuff with Christian, right? That was about it. Yeah, he's like he's the smile guy. He got. He Christian actually really liked the stuff with Christian. I think, right? He said Christian was a great worker. Well, I'm sure working with Christian is probably awesome. It just, you know, 
Especially sure at that time. Not Christian top was coming tier, out with a bunch yeah. of stuff. You know what also was cool? Him being WCW being top guy, top money, top belts. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dope. Over, <laughs> game in, you know? People's yeah. champ versus people's champ. That would have made sense. It would have been sick. Yeah. Awesome. There's no, there's absolutely no reason why they didn't do that other than like, I like. do you think Rock was offended that he called himself the people's champ so he didn't want to work with them or something? Like, why else wouldn't they have done I, that? I really don't know. Yeah, that's I a weird I doubt one. it. I Rock doubt worked Rock with everyone. Care. Why yeah. the fuck? He wouldn't work with DDP? He worked with Lance Storm of all <laughs> fucking people. Dude, <laughs> like, who? Who the blue hell are you? <laughs> well, we get to the main part of the night, Stone Cold Appreciation Night. Deborah with the cookies. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the yeah, bodies hit the floor. Threw me off. That was <laughs> uh, Deborah, Stephanie, and Heyman come out first to the song, which I was hoping they would make the Alliance come out to a different song, just like a generic, like <laughs> NWO B team music. Well, they did they not own both the ECW and WCW themes? <laughs> Can they yeah, just they use did. those? They did for sure. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck those songs. If it was related <laughs> to them, we're gonna make our own song for them. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what they wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Um. They play with like a music video on the on the Tron too. It's mixed in with like Alliance people and the actual music video. Yeah, it's strange, but it's and it's, yeah, a, it's like a twenty second, horribly done, <laughs> like redo of the song. I don't even know yeah. what's going on. Yeah, it's like it hits the like the chorus and then like cuts it off halfway and then goes into the instrumental again. Yeah, they go let the bass hit the. Branded and dirt. Branded and dirt. Really for the. Yeah, what the hell? I don't know. I don't know. I saw Mike Awesome going down to the ring, though, and I'm just wondering to myself the whole fucking time, how he's, is this guy not the man here? He walks right by the camera, and he's gigantic. He's huge. He's bigger than everybody there. Yeah. Paul Heyman is in the ring. He's got a red stone cold skull hat on that's the biggest skull I've ever seen. It literally <laughs> doesn't does this, fit the hat. Why does it goes the skull on go to the, to the brim? <laughs> it goes on to the brim. It's so good. I want to get a hat like that. Stone cold, gigantic. All brim. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what's going on there. No, uh, no balls. <laughs> <laughs> so cold, comes out to his alliance theme which kicks ass I like that song I also like that song a lot uh, it's funny looking back because it, this whole fucking thing is scuffed Stone Cold leading the WWF against WCW would have made the most sense on paper but yes. it's the exact fucking opposite here uh, thankfully yeah. there's some good stuff that comes out of it Paul Heyman brings Hurricane in the ring and he goes, you want to tell him about that Green Lantern thing again? You want to tell him about the Green Lantern thing again? He, said, yeah, he, just, right. he legitimately does the entire promo that he did in the promo earlier. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. It he is. gives Weird. Steve Austin the Green Lantern shirt because he said off he has a new off shirt his, Off his back. Yeah, he said, I don't want it. I don't need this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve takes his shirt, and I thought he was just going to like spit on it or toss it or throw yeah. it. He kept the shirt. He said, no, I, no. Austin was I, very appreciative. It almost looked like he was going to put it on. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so awesome. Austin wearing like a tight little Green Lantern shirt. <laughs> Hurricane said his whole life is hero was Green Lantern, but with your actions last night at SummerSlam and your dedication to the Alliance from this day forward, you're my new hero. And this and is my Jim own Roscoe. personal Green Lantern shirt, and I want you to have it. That's and then, when Jim yeah. Ross goes, who? Who the fuck JR is Green says, Lantern? What the hell is the Green Lantern? He doesn't say who. <laughs> what the hell is the Green Lantern? <laughs> he does say what the hell. And I give Hurricane, a pass on that whatever. Hurricane underneath has a stone cold shirt. Yeah, they made, uh, I mean, ooh, I mean, like, what was the thought process behind this? Let's take literally everyone and just make them all worse than Steve Austin. You're telling me that you don't think that it was a good idea to make the big opposing force that's going to kill the WWF looks stupid Look all dumb night as long fuck all the time <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you, you didn't you think they shouldn't look like the fucking jobbers that they ended up being to stone cold who turns they, on them later <laughs> they were all cool with it and like you know that's fine but wow. what are they going to do what are they going to do they wanted yeah. a job there was only Thankfully, the yeah. segment was fun for, for it fans it was tremendous but it it, it, but the way you put it, yes. There's the undertone every time I watch happened. it. Like what, <laughs> it was like the hurricane thing. I was like, oh, okay, you know, and the hurricane's the hurricane. He could you know, sure. Whatever. It got to Canyon, and I said, Canyon, the U.S. champion. They just blew his whole gimmick. They yeah. blew his whole gimmick. I couldn't even believe it. Uh, so Paul Heyman goes. Who appreciates Stone? <laughs> it sounded like Kel with Orange Soda. Who appreciates Stone Cold Boy <laughs> Canyon? <laughs> uh, so, anyways, he goes. Canyon go, grabs the mic. He goes, "I'm a little choked up. I can't believe I'm in the ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin." Then Jim Ross goes, "I think we should have subtitles for this motherfucker." <laughs> oh, they did say that. Oh, yeah. Man. So not only do they fuck the whole gimmick right up. Jim Ross goes out of his way to say Canyon's a big piece of shit. I'm like, fuck oh my that title god, too. man! Yeah. yeah, fuck that U.S. title too. That's a piece of shit too. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so then he goes, Stone Cold, Steve. The question was always, who better than Canyon? Yeah, for that years. That question was. <laughs> 
Kenny. Oh, for he said years. for years the question has always been who better than Kenny and Jasher. Yeah, for years. Yeah, for years. <laughs> for Come years. On. Everyone. Uh, oh, and then Kenny. he goes, that question was answered last night. It's you, Stone Cold. You're better than Kenny. They should have just fired him after that. God just damn fired. it, man. Why, why even keep him around? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, they had to keep him around so Undertaker could hit him in the head as hard as he could with a steel Beat chair. The, just fucking just clobber uh, him. Yeah. Actually, Oof. probably almost killed him. Yeah, yeah, that's actually one of the craziest headshots ever, I think. If you haven't seen that, it's on a SmackDown. It's it's like, oh, I don't think it's 01. It might be 02. It's around the time, like... Uh, Go watch my reaction video to it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can find that. Yeah, re- yeah, yeah, look up, like, chair shots, pulse or something. I watched it's that. So, it's... One of the grossest chair shots ever, Ugh. and it you could probably figure why Taker hit him so hard, but it's fucked. So then Canyon says he has a t-shirt for Austin. It's a Who Better Than Austin shirt. Oh, yeah. I think we need some shove titles for Canyon interviews. Fuck, man. He let him just, talk. Let, let him go. Let him talk, He's man. fine. Ugh. Sheesh. All He's right. fine. Cool. So then we have Deborah. She stayed up all night cooking these... <laughs> Deborah Cookies. <laughs> Heyman introduced her as Mrs. Rattlesnake, and Jared said, "Yeah, Mrs. Rattlesnake is absolutely correct." <laughs> Does Jim Ross like anybody? Jim Ross fucking hates everybody in this segment. <laughs> Want to make fucking choices, dude? That's his wife right here. He's, Deborah said, "I know you're sore and tired from beating Kurt Angle, so I stayed up all night, as James said, and made these famous Deborah Cookies." And the look Deborah on Austin's cookies? face. He's is, so pissed. He, he looks so scared. <laughs> Thankfully, Heyman saves him. He says, I know how much you want to eat those, Steve. But before you do, the Alliance has prepared uh, a rush for you. Like the no like uh, the likes of you can't imagine because he was going to get a sugar rush and they're going to a video tribute. I, was this this song wasn't dubbed on the network, right? Like this was the actual video. This was the actual video. Yes, yes. I thought. Yes, so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it's just like a stone cold tribute video. He's whooping everybody's ass. Can so, you uh, take me <laughs> higher? <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> it was My that song. sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would have been sweet. So go bleeding. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we move on to what they cut from the network, sadly, because uh, there was a song that they used here that I guess for some reason they didn't want to pay for, despite this being an all-time <laughs> segment. This is here. like the greatest segment in WWF history, almost. Lillian is at ringside, and she's mm-hmm. like, you know, everyone. I guess everyone knows she can sing, mm-hmm. so Stephanie tells her to get in the ring. Stephanie says, uh, Steve, you heard wind beneath our wings. Well, our version is wind beneath our ring. <laughs> <laughs> And they, they bring up, they're having Lillian sing this, and they bring it up on the Tron, the lyrics. And it's like karaoke <laughs> style, but with Stone Cold's head bouncing from each word. It's a real pissed off Stone Cold, too. Yeah. And the Alliance is behind them, waving their arms, just they're so into it. Like, God they're bless all them. singing together in unison, and, and they're all having a great sh- ass time. Yeah, Lillian starts singing. I have no idea what was going on, but all of a sudden, JR starts screaming behind them, JR needs Pepto! <laughs> <laughs> what the f- What the fuck? <laughs> what, what the fuck was that? So J- Lillian. I need, I need, he, he, he starts, it sounds like he's talking to himself. I, I, need, I need Pepto, I need Pepto, bitch, mom. JR needs Pepto! <laughs> So he's trying to he's do like a, a I, crisis. I think he was trying to mystery science theater this thing, you know. Maybe but he just he just, uh, <laughs> he's so, he just somehow he's a it gets menace. even more ridiculous for Jr. As this but goes Lillian on. Lillian fucks up and doesn't sing right away, so Stephanie gets real mad about it. Yeah, Stephanie stops her. And somebody says, we need a singer the likes of Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Barbara Streisand. <laughs> and she says, I know that. Oh, and she needs a Bette Mittler as well. <laughs> she says, I know that singer. Allow me to lead you in song. And everyone's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and she started, but goddamn, what a great idea. Stephanie starts singing this, and it's so fucked. <laughs> it's so awful. It's just yeah. fucked. It's so fucked up. And she's, the, it just keeps showing this bouncing stone cold head. <laughs> that is the best part. There's a uh, stone cold head going back and forth. And then she like she's like, all right, and she's singing, and she's like, sing it, Chavo, and Chavo starts <laughs> reading him. Now Terry, <laughs> she, Terry starts getting in with her nipples. Uh, <laughs> her nipples start singing it. <laughs> and then she goes, Raven. <laughs> Raven <laughs> starts singing it. Somehow she knows Just Incredible exists. I, Justin. <laughs> I couldn't even believe that. That was the craziest part to me. And then she goes, everybody, and everybody is singing this song. They're waving their arms. They're swaying back and forth. The Alliance is in full effect here. And this killed WCW and WCW. <laughs> uh, then it ends, and then it's the giant Austin head just comes Zooms up on in. the tron. <laughs> the real pissed off looking Stone Cold head. 
it's real close. And uh, this fuck, you got to go out of your way to see this it's part at so least. It's good. on YouTube. It, it just yeah, really this is not on the sucks. network, so you have they to look cut it up it. separately. Yeah, it really yeah. sucks. Um, Stone Cold then gets on the mic. He says, "Look at you. You make me so proud. Everybody's got a ECW shirt on. What? WCW shirt oh. on? A Stone Cold shirt on? And he stands." And there's little Taz in his little orange shirt. <laughs> my colors. <laughs> <laughs> he does say my colors. <laughs> what are you wearing, Taz? My colors. My colors. My colors. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? What? I don't. So Tony says that the what thing started in a backstage segment, right, Tony? Like an interview? Yeah, there's when he a. When first started doing what? Right? I think he might have been on the phone or he was back there with Vince. Ma it was Vince at Kurt Angle, I think. Or what was it? Uh, okay, I don't remember. I tried I to look remember. it up. I think I saw that it was like an interview backstage that he did it. But this might be the first time he did it in front of a crowd. It felt mm -hmm. like it at least. They um, did not know nope. along with him. No, yeah, the crowd does not know what's it. going on here. Uh, he says, what are you doing? What? What kind of shirt is that on your chest? What? <laughs> what kind of shirt is that? What? <laughs> that guy's <that> shirt? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Stone Cold shirt? An ECW shirt? A WCW shirt? What? I thought you were here to appreciate Stone Cold Steve Austin. Watch. Yeah, yeah, take, yeah, me, yeah. take that stupid yeah, you bring it up. <laughs> it just rips the shirt right off of his what? fucking chest. He's like, what? <laughs> I said, take the shirt off. The shirt's already ripped off. Take it off. <laughs> My colors, brother. My colors. And then Kurt Angle's music hits, and the crowd loses their Ooh, fucking mind do. for this guy. He is so over. Yeah, that match at SummerSlam was, was huge for him. Well, his music hits, and they yes. go, where's Kurt Angle? And yeah. then all of a sudden, Kurt Angle comes in. With the milk <laughs> truck. This is a full-on milk truck. Exactly. When I say milk truck, if you've never seen this angle, I'm sure you can imagine what a milk truck is. <laughs> it, yes. is it is literally, if you've ever even thought, yeah, if you've ever thought of a cartoon milk truck, you got it right here in the WWF. Kurt drives out in this fucking thing, and it's like, I've seen this a few times, but it, it holds up, and it might be even better now than then. Yeah. yeah, it might actually be. I actually saw a lot of stuff that I didn't see, like, I didn't remember. Yeah. I remember, like, the, the outline of it in my head. Me too. But watching it back, it was incredibly crazy. He he parks his, he, like, he pretty much runs into the ring and then backs up with it. <laughs> he, does. he definitely does. And then he gets out, and so this is, I'm glad they did this, because he probably didn't have to do this, but it's so much funnier of a visual. His Kurt, there's a crate beside him, and he starts picking up milk cartons and just <laughs> tossing them in the ring, just just lunging them into the ring. They're spraying all over the place. <laughs> just, and these fifty guys that were in the ring, just none of them decided to go after Kurt Angle at all. They just oh no, there they're afraid of milk. <laughs> they're lactose. The Alliance notoriously lactose intolerant. <laughs> they all just said they got pelted by milk cartons. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, well, one person, Tony, did try to go after Kurt Angle. Maybe oh, right. they learned from this. Sean Stasiak runs at Kurt Angle. Kurt throws him into the truck, and Jarrett says, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, my God. Okay. True. Great. Then Kurt goes back to the truck, pulls out a big hose, and starts unleashing the milk. <laughs> Spraying milk at the alliance, and JR yells, Milkomania is running wild. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking going nuts. He is losing his mind. I forgot this part too. Kurt is spraying the ring, like everyone in the ring is getting oh, doused man. with milk. And then he turns to the side and just fucking drowns John Stacy. It was right, right in the face. <laughs> Point blank range with this. <laughs> Dude, that's kind of hurt. so fucking Military bad. grade milk hose. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Stuff. <laughs> it's such a funny visual though because he just it's like a sna like he had aim assist <laughs> it was perfect it, yeah. he hit him right in the fucking face with those uh so he drops that he, he has a cooler <laughs> and he climbs onto the hood of the milk truck he opens it up he cracks two cards of milk together and chugs them and jr is losing his mind during this he has, he's pulling out the heavy stuff it's homogenized <laughs> no skim milk for kurt kurt angle is the olympic dairy man <laughs> He is losing his I don't remember mind. any of this. I don't either. Which made this even better. Jim it Ross went on for five minutes with different <laughs> lines for this. He is... He's, uh, he's pulled out the heavy stuff. Homogenized. Homogenized. And the show goes off the air with Kurt downing milk and Stone Cold looking so pissed. I have never heard a better line from Jim Ross than 
the million dollar princess has become a dairy queen. Yes. Ever in oh, my I life. I wrote that, that, oh no, I did that, write that down. Fuck yeah. Oh my that's god. That's an all timer line. They play it over and over. Anytime they show this, they that's make sure so they put that line in fucking there. Fucking good. Yeah. God. Like if Jim Ross, like some of the stuff Jim Ross has done in his career, I would never forget. I don't think yeah. as long as I live, and this is probably one of them. Like it's a, somehow better than I remembered it, dude. Imagine. All right, so imagine this. This angle happens. And not everyone from WCW and ECW sucks fucking dick. How crazy <laughs> would this be? If everyone, oh, dude, the pop it would have got if this was like all over people this happening to, this would have been, but they, I mean, it was awesome still, but yeah, it was great. No, I mean, like, you know, like throughout the night, what if, like, you know, oh, I don't yeah, know, sure. You had Mike Awesome doing something, you know, or. You mean if WCW the had world? the upper hand going into this and this was yeah, WWF what? regaining position? If yes, it I agree. It like WCW was going to win the whole war and then. Yes. Out it was, comes well, you Kurt know, Angle. when you think about it, man, it's literally just Steve Austin and Kurt Angle and they just also happened to be there. They're just Dude, also there. Because it's the not only... like Kurt was going after Mike Awesome. Right. The only alliance person that won on the show was Test. Yeah, he's the WWE guy. Test is a, <laughs> never worked there. <laughs> Sarah beat DDP. <laughs> it still what hurts to this day. Yeah. It still Just hurts. Fucking brutal. But Dude, yeah, you there you okay, go. you know when you know when Austin was like giving Taz shit. You know how cool yes. it'd be if he did the Kataj and May right there. Oh then, my god! If Taz, did Taz ever get any come up in there? Uh, no, I don't think so. They never did Austin Taz program, didn't he? Eventually, like uh, I, this might have been before this because I think he joined the Alliance after that. But he does put Heyman in the Kataj and May. Uh, oh. But I mean, that's his. That's. I mean, right. If but there's it's not, anyone that it's not you know like I mean? if you put Austin in it. Oh my god! I mean, Austin yeah. beat his ass and then ripped his shirt off and embarrassed him, and then he just gets punked out. Did they do yeah. Taz Austin at all? Did Taz Austin ever happen? Actually, it did happen. It happened on my birthday in 2001. Austin is wearing a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> This is after the invasion's oh, all over, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Taz oh, okay. has him in the Katajime, and then he gets low-blowed and stunned, and he loses. Oh, my God. This Jordan. video is a minute long. <laughs> That's how mad long it was. <laughs> so No, because this referee has... Oh, this must be just before Survivor Series, Tony. Oh. Yeah, so okay. uh, uh, the invasion... So I guess Taz, maybe is they... of... Taz is out of the alliance at that point. They did a payoff thing here. Taz left the oh, alliance. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Taz gets his okay. ass beat, and then in six months, Taz gets his ass beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Taz in the alliance and Taz out of the alliance, both losers. <laughs> <laughs> we Taz Taz. wearing a sweater yeah. doing the stunner. Taz, thing ever. yeah, fucking long sleeve, stone cold <laughs> shirt, whooping Taz's ass. Great, nice. Oh fuck. Well, I had Bummer. a good time watching this, anyways. I mean, yeah, this was this was fun. I mean, fun show. This uh, wrestling is still not horrible this time, despite them just doing their best to try to. We're getting fucking... close, but yeah, we're yeah. not there yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go, Milko Mania.